recent year. Today we see the current queens of the sport as we bring you the European Championships from Gothenburg. Ron Pickering is our reporter there. Even in practice, it's been clearly demonstrated that women's gymnastics continues to move on in terms of technical brilliance. But for those who cherish the memories of superb artistry and aesthetics, there are very real signs that this is returning and it will be the Russians who are responsible. Incidentally, the Russians are looking for their first European champion in 10 years and they could easily find it from Olga Bicharova, the reigning world champion, Albina Shisova, or my favorite, Natalia Yurchenko. But really, they'll be strongly challenged by Ekaterina Zabo of Romania and her teammate, Lavinia Agaki. That's a name of the Soviet Union. Just 15 years and one month when she won that, she's 16 now. These are asymmetric bars. That's the catcher. Giant circle. She looked very confident in practice. Good piece of apparatus for her. It's double back, and she spots it very well. Olga Bicharova, one of the real favorites to take this European title. Her score, 9.7. Albina Shishova of the Soviet Union, the 17-year-old, just about to start her floor exercise. Just five feet and a quarter of an inch. She weighs six turns six. And let's see if we're right in her in classical interpretation. Lovely floor worker. Full in, back out. That was a magnificent move in her opening tumbling routine. She's putting that in a middle routine. Double track, somersault, lots of poise. Matching the music beautifully. That's her third double back somersault. Beautifully choreographed. Albina Shishova of the Soviet Union. Her first European Championships. This is the opening move where she does a full in. That's a full twist. In. There it is. Oh no. Closing move. Same coach as Turisheva. From Rostov on Don, and then Rostorovsky, and she scores a very fine 9.75. Now this is 17-year-old Lavinia Agaki, one of the new breed of Romanian gymnasts. Only four feet nine, five stone five. Has beaten Yurchenko. Often in the shadow of Zabo, but they predict a brilliant future for her. And this is one of her favorite pieces of apparatus, asymmetric bars. Her score 9.7 that matches Olga Bicharova. This is Olga Bicharova, the girl fighting for this title, the reigning world champion, who is so positive and solid on beam. Keeps it fairly basic, but really she's rock solid. Look at that for a balance. Wants this all around title. Lovely 
double back. In cut position. That's the dismount. Both feet very solid and then into that very high tuck double somersault. Here's Grancher over on floor. Oh, an attempt at a triple twist didn't quite get all the way round. interpretation but she's certainly some gymnast one arm flick back there oh the height on that double tuck somersault was really quite remarkable Seventeen years of age yesterday, Zoya Grancherova of Bulgaria, thoroughly enjoying herself on that floor exercise. Zoya Grancherova, I think this is her opening routine being repeated. Now it's the triple twist, the triple twist which she didn't get all the way round on, but she recovers brilliantly. Two and a half. 9-8 for Grancherova. That's a very high score indeed. 9-8 on floor. Just announced that Olga Bicherova scored 9.65 on beam. It took a while before they settled on that. And that's why there's been a delay. And here's her teammate, Albina Shishova. A lot of classical influence on beam. Looking forward to her on that. Seen her already interpret her music brilliantly on the floor. Now her vault. There it is, the round off. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. A round off onto the right of board and then a full twisting back somersault away. That really is worth seeing again. Absolutely confident. Tremendous height and flow. Here it is the round off that the old-fashioned arrow spring and then she's facing backwards and watch this hits it beautifully has to touch the horse then puts a full twist in that somersault and flew and that was a remarkable vault this is a girl that will be challenging for a place in the team for uh, Moscow she's got nine sevens nine eight nine seven nine seven five I think she's gonna get for that 9.75 and that's two nine seven fives so she's already challenging for the overall title this is uh, Lavinia Gaki of Romania the round off the back on and she loves beam and she's working exceptionally well she really is a big threat in these championships them in Milan Four running front somersault she already has a nine seven beautiful balance Oh, the hollow shoulder roll. New move to her. Levina Agaki. And she is putting all the pressure on everyone here. Has not put a foot wrong. Oh, and what a finish. What a finish. 9.85. And that is two tremendous scores. 9.7 and 9.85.
and Romania challenging here. Their new breed coming through and coming through well. The little girl putting out the board there, Mostopanova, reserved for the Soviet team. There she is, the girl in the pigtails, checking out the bars for Albina Shishova. What a reserve to have. Many people very disappointed that we can't see her work, particularly on beam. But here's the girl in a very strong, challenging position. Two nine seven five to her credit. Shishova. Oh, Adelchev. Very confident. Oh, tremendous. The Jaeger from that uh, peculiar grass called Eagles. Oh, it's a marvelous piece of work. Marvelous piece of work. She showed up. And she uh, has put the message over to Bicharova, her fellow countrywoman who played it a little safe on the beam. And we got a 9.65. This girl is putting all her complex moves together. Superb body tension. Lovely line. Double tuck finish. And she showed her score on bars 9.70. So she now has 9.7, 9.75, and 9.75. She showed Oriana Stoyanova of Bulgaria on floor, the 15 year old. Very spectacular on floor. Would have won the last Champions All meeting, but she just had a mishap on the bars. Lost it only on that. But watch this. tumbling routines and that is acrobatics at its very best Boriana Stoyanova and it's brought this crowd to its feet it really was spectacular nine point eight five for Stoyanova on floor And it's Lavina Agaki that has to follow that. Romania following Bulgaria. Agaki, 17. This is the girl that already carries with her 9.7 and 9.85 halfway through her competition. Two sets of girls going together, another one later.
getting back to forward walkover. Full of verb, full of bounce. Vina Agaki. That's the two and a half twisting back and then straight into that uh, Sinsika walkout. 9.8 for Agaki on floor and really she's got three very big scores indeed. Astrid Hees of the German Democratic Republic. That's East Germany, the 15-year-old, only four foot nine and three quarters. Her first European Championship. Long swings through there, missing the lower bar, tightly tucked. Double back finish for Astrid Hees. Olga Bicharova. Pull in back out. Tremendous power from a tiny little girl. Classical boys back. Lovely Very, very solid indeed. Timing to of disco about it but with classical overtones and uh, she's captured the hearts of this audience again Olga Bicharova needing a very good score and she should surely get it for that plenty of power from that tiny package nine and nine it's exactly what she needed to get back on course and she's got it she now carries nine seven nine six five and nine nine well, this is the girl that's putting all the pressure on the Russians, Levina Agaki of Romania. She's ahead of them on scores. She's a very good vaulter, a good score here, and she could be in the hunt for the title. Oh, and it's spotted beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. One and a half twisting Sukahara from Lavina Agaki. Full of confidence, and she really is aggressive on the runway, pounds it in and then spots it beautifully and she scored 9.75 and that means the Russian girls, the two Russian girls have got to get way up 9.85s or 9.9s just to match her and Bicharova has scored 9.85 on her first so she's matched the Romanian girl now can she better it for the title it's a beautiful vault Absolutely immaculate. We missed seeing her first ball. She scored 985. We trembled as the four judges scores went up. This is her second. And if she gets a 99 and it looks good enough for that, she will take the lead in the first part of this championship.
and Sprint Pike half in. She pulls her feet underneath her. And it is a superb vault. She's got 9999997. And she gets 99 and takes the lead. Edging out Agaki by the narrowest of margins. Ekaterina Zabo from Romania, the 16-year-old. Straddle lift on that beam to start. Tiny but superb. The top planche there. She really has been throwing herself around on the beam. Wiring everybody in sight. She is uh, confidence personified. Little wobble following a 360-degree turn. But one of the real threats twice the European junior champion. Four superb flip flags. Girl too young to compete in the World Championships or in the Moscow Olympic Games. Five tenths after that brilliant move. Putting a full twisting somersault on a beam loses it. She's been spotting that in training all afternoon. What a tragedy because she was one of the real threats. One of those most dynamic young gymnasts in the world. Ekaterina Zabo. This her error, I'm sure. The full twist. Just didn't have a weight over a back foot. Just took it, uh, that twist, too far. 9.35 for Zabo. And the scoring has been so high that one feels that her challenge has gone on her first discipline. What a tragedy. Yvette Austin, 14-year-old girl from Ladywell Lewisham. On bars. Her coach, Chris Evans, here. Nice Jaeger somersault, confident. Just a little bit bent arm coming out of that. But uh, no mistakes, shoot front finish, and a good finish at that for Yvette Austin. Yvette Austin, 9.5 for that bar exercise. That's the highest we've seen by any of the British girls. 9.5 for her asymmetric bars. This is Ekaterina Zabo, the 16-year-old Romanian girl, twice the European junior champion, one of uh, Bella Caroli's super kids. Her coach now is Mala Cosma, who's here, and she is superb on floor. Full in, back out. Too young for the Moscow Olympics or the World Championships. And she has such enormous talent. All eyes are on her now. Ooh, one and a half twisting back straight into a punch front somersault. only four feet eight and a quarter tall but a real powerhouse all full in back out and finish Zabo of Romania. Tremendous applause for her. Nine, nine she gets. Here's Natalia Ryurchenko. She really needs nine eights to be up with the leaders. She's a fabulous vaulter. This was the girl that uh, 
began this ball, round off, and then she throws that back somersault with a full twist. And there's astonishment on the faces of all as she gets only 9.65 for that, and it looked far better than Shishova, who did it and got 9.75. Watch it again. It's a round off onto the right of board. And pushes away, gets a full twist in that back somersault away from hand. So she has a second bite. 9.65, not good enough. Natalia Yurchenko. Oh, beautiful vault. Absolutely superb. But only 9.7. Only 9.7, and I'm sure the Russians will protest about that. This is Ekaterina Zabo. And this is the one girl that can get amongst the medals still. This is the brilliant junior. But she really needs a 9-9 to take over from Shitsova in the bronze medal position. Oh, one and a half twist on that lower bar. Two long swings. Double back tuck, and she holds that well. She's had a marvelous competition. Remember, she fell off the beam and still scored 9.35. Since then, she's had a 9.9 and a 9.8. And she needs 9.85 to equal the bronze medal position. She needs 9.9 to take the bronze after a fall. So she's had a brilliant competition. That's a catch-off. And it's been done as well as anyone here. Watch the uh, twist on that lower beam that she's coming into. There, one and a half twist. Then the uh, long swings as part of a build-up to dismount. Just slightly bent arm. And she scores 9.85, and that ties the bronze medal with Shishova. Natalia Yurchenko walks forward to the asymmetric bars. The dispute's over, but she hasn't improved a score of 9.7 on what looked to be a superb vault. And now, really, to stay in the hunt, she needs a couple of nine nines. She's brilliant on bars at her best, but that must have uh, rocked her confidence somewhat. That's a catch-off. Oh, and Del Chef, and she goes off and out of the competition. Goes Natalia Yurchenko. Been very unlucky competition for her. Superb gymnast. One error, and who knows how much her confidence was shaken by what looked to be disappointing scoring. She's had another mistake, another error on asymmetric bars, and uh, she's literally going through the motions now. Uh, we shall see her back in Moscow, but not in this competition. Very sad end to Natalia Yurchenko who has a disaster on asymmetric bars. 915. The judges have given her. So Olga Bicharova, the 16-year-old world champion, brings back the European Championship to Russia for the first time in 10 years. She beat Levina Agaki of Romania with Albina Shisova of the Soviet Union in equal third place with Ekaterina Zabo, also of Romania. So the medals go to the Soviet Union and Romania in these European Championships. As the world's top competitors build up to the Olympic Games in Los Angeles next year, major competitions like the European Championships take on a special significance. The overall competition was won on the first day by Bitsarova of the Soviet Union, that country's first success in these championships for 10 years. Now the points from each discipline of that competition are carried over to the second day. Ron Pickering was in Gothenburg in Sweden to see the individual apparatus medals decided. Lavinia Agaki of Romania, about to take her second vault of the day. She's already scored 9-7 for her first, but the average of the two marks that's carried over and added to yesterday's score, which was 9.75. One and a half twist in Sukahara, just stepped slightly sideways on the map, but it's very, very difficult vault indeed, unique to her. And 
Nine eights. Average is 9.75. And her total score, 19.50. And now, the European champion, the world champion. The youngest ever world champion, Olga Bisharova. 16 now, although she doesn't look it. Four feet, eight and three quarters. Five stone two. And has that rare double of the two major championships of gymnastics. 9-9, nine, nine, a carryover score. That's it, Pike Provo. Little bit unsteady on landing. A radiant smile, but she'll still want a better one. But she's got nine eights, and I think that's gonna be good enough for the gold. Nine six five she needs on the second one. Disaster. It will be a second gold medal for Bicharova. Whatever she vaults, providing it's safe, it's a gold medal. So on is a banger. Straight to Kahara, spotted it beautifully. And that, thank you very much, I think. She's got a couple of nine sevens, that's good enough. Good enough for her, she needed a 9.65, there's a 9.8 gone up as well. And if you average out her two volts of today and add it to the 9.9 that she got yesterday, then I think it's beyond the reach of any of the other girls in the competition. 9.7. Confirmation there. The result of the vault, Olga Babicharova adds the second gold medal for the all-around, the collects one for the vault. Zabo of Romania in second, and then a shared bronze medal between Stoyanova of Bulgaria and Agaki of Romania. The Katarina Zabo, this brilliant junior, the European junior champion of 80 and 82 that was too young to go to the World Championships, carries a massive score with a 9.85. Marvellous catch-off. One and a half to reach of a twist. <laughs> and that lovely double back somersault to this round, and that's a superb performance from Zabo. And it looks as though that will be good enough to collect for her a gold medal. And her score, 9.85, her total, 19.7. And that must be good enough for gold, unless Richner of Czechoslovakia has an equally superb performance. Yeah. Richner then wearing 53, only 15, 5 foot 1, 5 stone 3. Very tiny girl, but she is the Czechoslovakian champion. She has this 9.85. Richner then, everyone holding their breath for her. Oh, and she's in trouble. When she tried that squat in, she caught her foot, and she's clearly in trouble, and she's trying to get going again, but Richner must be out of it because she'll lose three or four tenths for that. And the challenge from Czechoslovakia has died away, and that's so very, very sad. She's lost the gold, and clearly she's a very unhappy girl. Hannah Richner, the 15-year-old Czechoslovakian champion, just catches her foot there and loses her chance of a medal in the uneven bars. So gold to Zabo of Romania on uneven bars, silver to Agaki of Romania, and Czechoslovakia through Jana Labakova collect the bronze. Well, a lot depending on this. Slovenia Agaki comes out on the beam, knowing that this could make a full collection for her. Already a silver in the all-around competition. Silver on bars, a bronze on vault. She needs 9.6 to win the gold. Well within her compass, but she's seen three girls fall off the beam. Marvellous vault, rock steady there. She's also made a lot of friends in these championships. She really does have a super personality. 17 years of age, has made all four finals. Spins around. So 
Very authoritative. Running front somersault. No problems. Lots of difficulty. Not holding back for anything. Marvellous balance. Remember, she needs 9.6 for the gold. That free shoulder roll that only she does. That's the gold medal, the Garski of Romania. A brilliant performance, this on beam. Dismount coming up. Absolutely no compromise throughout. She went for her most difficult moves and she spotted them brilliantly and there's the smile that radiates from her. The result is gold medal to Lavinia Agaki. The silver goes to Astrid Hisa, and the bronze goes to Mikhaila Stanulet of Romania. The overall European champion and world champion, maturing fast with a lively sense of humor. But watch the classical lines and the interpretation of the music returned to women's gymnastics by the Russians. Plenty of tumble. Zavarina, her ballet teacher, here watching. but all the more welcome for that. Bisharova, two goals so far, a 9-9 to carry over, and I thought that was a flawless performance. 1-9-9, 2-9-9, a 9-9 and a 9-8, she gets 9-9 and takes the lead. That must get her a medal, and it's going to be difficult to shift her from the gold spot, but it's superb gymnastics. Olga Bisharova, the European champion, the world champion, and maybe the floor champion. And what a reception she's had here. 19.80. Ekaterina Zabo of Romania, the girl who almost took these championships by storm. She's got 9.9 .9 on floor carryover, but she actually now needs 9.95 to beat Bisharova. Flick flack straight out of that full in back out and that's that double somersault. She's got a great following here and she's already got a gold on the bars. Zabo at 16. Seven thousand here, willing her on. Here 
It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Immense personality. Perhaps not quite the boys, but uh, nine, nine, she already has to her credit. She needs 995 to beat Bisharova, and there's about 7,000 people here wishing her well. Although I thought that Bisharova was just slightly the more elegant, just fractionally more controlled. Well, this girl takes it on her tumbling routine. 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 Equal first with Bisharova. Zaba in equal first. Confirmation of those results from the floor.